Okay, what we're doing today is we're working out what the gradient of the line is. Um, now, the gradient is how steep a line is, and it's coming more and more into the exams if you've seen the most recent ones. Um, so, as soon as you find the grade, so as soon as it says find the gradient, what you need to do is you need to see between the two points that you're looking at how far it's gone up. So, it's the change in height divided by the change horizontally. So if we have a look at our first question over here, what we've got to do is we've got to see how far our line has gone across and how far it's gone up. So what we do is we draw a triangle, so we go straight across and go straight up to form a right angle triangle. Now going back to sort of primary school coordinates, this one is 3 across and it's 7 up. This one is 6 across and 22 up. So to go from 3 across to 6 across, I've gone across by 3. And if you've gone from 7 up, up to 22 up, I've gone up by another 15. So looking at this thing over here, to work out the gradient, it's the change in height, so how far it's gone up, divided by how far it's gone horizontally. So the change in height here, so the gradient is 15, the change in height is 15, change horizontally was 3, so 15 divided by 3, which is 5. So for the gradient of this line, it's 5. That gets you at least two marks. Okay, so sometimes, if we have a look at our second question over here, sometimes it's not quite as straightforward. So we're going to do the same thing now. So we're going to go across, and we're going to go up, and we're going to make our right angle triangle. Now this one here is two across. This one here is eight across. So going across here, we've got a difference of six. And this one here is nine up. This one here is 16 up. So if we've gone from nine up to 16 up, we've gone up by seven. So now the gradient is a change in height, which is 7, divided by the change horizontally, which is 6. And we just leave it like this. It's not a pleasant number, but um, we just leave it like that. Um, just one more thing to add. All the questions that we're doing on this video are positive. But if we see that our line slopes down, we do exactly the same thing. So we do a right angle triangle. But we just know that because it's sloping downwards, the gradient would be negative. But it's still the change in height whichever this one is, divide by the change horizontally, whichever this one is. Okay, pause the video, have a go at these two, see how you get on. So the coordinates are 1, 9, 5, 25, 3, 5, and 7, 24. So if you pause the video, then hopefully the first thing you would have done was this here. So we make our right angle triangle. Now this one here is 1 across. This one here is 5 across. Again, the graph or the diagram doesn't look like it's been drawn accurately. But this one's 1 across, this one's 5 across, so we've gone across by 4. This one here is 9 up. This one over here is 25 up. So that's a gap of 16. So the gradient is 16, because that's how much it's gone up, over 4, because that's how far it's gone across. 16 divided by 4, if we can simplify it, we do, which is 4. So the gradient of that line is 4. Next, this one here, again, we draw a right angle triangle. So this one has gone 3 across, this one's got 7 across, so it's gone across by 4. This point here is 5 up, this one here is 24 up. So if I've gone from 5 up and I keep going up until I get to 24, that's a rise of 19. So the gradient equals 19 over 4. And that's it. And that's how we leave it. And that's how you find the gradient of a line. 